Hi, my name is Thomas Moore, and I'm a Marie Curie Minded Research Fellow at the Istituto Italiano di Tecnologia. I'm really excited to offer you a sneak peek into our work using artificial intelligence tools for liposome formulation development that we'll be presenting at the Controlled Release Society annual meeting in Montreal this July as part of the CRC Italia 3-minute video competition. So microfluidics offers a way to have continuous high throughput synthesis of nanoparticles, in our case liposomes, and from an engineering standpoint, this is a beautiful approach because you can systematically control all of the different parameters such as total flow rate, uh, solvent ratios, uh, precursor concentrations or drug loading to determine the uh, particles that you may make. And all of these parameters are intertwined to determine which kind of liposomes that may or may not come out of the microfluidic system. But what we wanted to know was, can we use artificial intelligence to uh, predict the outcome of this synthesis process? So in this study, a quite large database of particles was synthesized, and the hydrodynamic diameter was measured via DLS right after synthesis, so this would be day zero, and then every 24 hours up to three days. And if you try to understand the different microflu how the different microfluidic parameters affect liposomes, it can be very confusing. So here's what it looks like if I show you all of the day zero measurements that are separated by the synthesis parameters. And some trends become immediately obvious. So you can see if you increase total flow rate, for example, the PDI of the particle seems to increase it, while the diameter seems to decrease. And this could be intuitive. Also, if you increase the initial lipid concentration in the organic phase, the diameter seems to get bigger. But what's exceedingly difficult is to understand how all of these factors are tied together, and more so, can we understand how to manipulate each one to obtain a desired output, for example, stable particles or a specific diameter. And that's where artificial intelligence can come in. So AI is a huge field, but we're specifically looking at using machine learning, which is an area where data and algorithms are applied to iteratively learn and gradually get more accurate. So in brief, we used classification algorithms, specifically support vector machines algorithm, to build a supervised machine learning model to predict whether particles formulations would be either monodisperse or polydisperse. And then what we can do is build a predictive heat map that shows viable zones for synthesis. So this would be where the uh, different input parameters will yield monodispersed particles. We also built an artificial neural network that could be used to predict the diameter of the particles. So for this project, we're excited to understand the potential of artificial intelligence and nanoparticle formulation development. What I'm really excited to show also is how these open source machine learning tools can be applied towards the so-called wet sciences. And also we wanted to explore how microfluidic factors affecting li affect liposome nanoparticle properties. Uh, so thank you very much for your attention and I'm very much looking forward to meeting you in July.